Here we go. We've got another show you know. We're being asked to solve each equation using algebra tiles. First up, we've got 2x plus 4 equals negative 6. And we're being asked to fill in the missing tiles so your model represents the equation. So let's take a look. 2x, that's what these bars are. Remember that we can use bars to represent our variables. So we've got two of them, that's our 2x. Plus 4. Um, we've got one positive tile here, so we need to add three more in to give us a total of four equals negative six. So we've got one, we need a total of six. So there we go. Now that represents the equation above. So we want to isolate the black bars, that's our variable, to figure out what they are. So we want to eliminate these four black bars. There are no black ones on the right hand side. So we need to do something to get rid of these. I am going to add in some zero, four zero pairs to be able to take care of this. There's one, two, three, four. I've added four zero pairs now. They do not change the value of anything. So we are still balanced with our equal sign in the middle. Now, however, I can remove the four positive tiles from the left, and I can remove four positive tiles from the right. And now we've got a new scenario. We still have our two variables on the left. And there's nothing else on the left. That equals, what does it equal? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten negatives. One, two. Now I'm intentionally, I've got two different rows here, so I'm going to try and draw these in two rows to facilitate an easier way to determine what the value of our variable is. So I need 10 of these in two rows. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, now we're in good shape. Now, now we can split up the tiles by taking just our top row. Both rows are exactly the same, and they have to be exactly the same for this to work. If we take a look at just our top row, we see that x is equal to negative 5. Splitting up the tiles, you can see that one black tile is equal to 5 white tiles. So therefore, x is equal to negative 5. So that's the process. Let's do one more example using algebra tiles. 3r minus 2 equals 13. 3r, so I have three variable bars. There's 2 and 3. And I've got subtract 2, so that's the same as adding two negatives. If you want, you can rewrite this. 3r plus, so subtracting is the same as adding the opposite, so adding negative 2. You can rewrite it that way if you want. Um, so then that means we're going to draw two negative tiles on the left. That is equal to 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. 
Now, I need to remove two negatives from both sides in order to get my variables by themselves. I don't have any negatives on this side, so I'm going to add in some more zero pairs. And I need two negatives, so I'm going to add two zero pairs. So let's just do it this way. One, two. One, two. So now I've added in two zero pairs. At this point, I can then remove my negative tiles. And what that leaves me with, three bars on the left, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen tiles on the right. Now, the way I've got this drawn out, I've actually got them stacked in threes. So if I just take a look at this top row, Speed things up with the drawing. My top row, which is identical to the second row and the third row, looks like this. So that means R equals 5. R equals positive 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Subtract 2 is 13. That's on the right-hand side. So 5 is correct. I didn't go back and verify this one, did I? I said that x was equal to negative 5. Let's check it. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. So yes, that does correct. We match, so we know that both of our answers are correct. That is your show, you know.